a fool You can call me a fool I'll be a fool anytime, baby If it means loving you Call me a fool You can call me a fool A heart for long A love that's gone a new love born Call me a fool Call me a fool I'll be a fool anytime, baby If it means If it means loving you Thought I had it under control But it gripped me Grab my soul, heard it pound, a knocking on my door. That's when I knew I had to let it go. Don't you know I wish I could help it? But most of all, I wish I could forget. But this new love is so strong, it's got the power, got the hoodoo, got me. Hanging on, oh, 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 call me a fool, call me a fool, I'll be a fool anytime, it means loving you. Guess the cards they fall where they meant Win, lose, or draw You gotta play the hand you sent A beg, a borrow, a give, and take, and lend I've been drinking, staying drunk all day You got me creeping but not late at night My life is twisted, turned upside down I'm just a fool to hang around A fool to hang around Oh, don't you know Call me a fool Call me a fool I'll be a fool Anytime if it means a loving you, baby, call, call, call. You can call me a big old fool, a heart forlorn, a love that's gone, a new love born. Call me a fool, just call me a big old fool. I'll be a fool anytime if it means. I'm loving you Call me a fool Call me a fool I'll be a fool anytime If 
it means loving you Call me a fool Call me a Hot for long A love that's gone A new love born His name is Valerie June. The lady's name is Valerie June. That song I just did, I did a song of that song when I first heard of her. <laughs> and I said, oh, she's new. She needs uh, some support. I'm going to sing that song and I give her some support. And then I found out she won a Grammy for the song. <laughs> and I said, she doesn't need my support anymore so I'll, I, I can take the song and do my alligator thing with it now um, this is alligator in alignment we have been I've been absent for a while I, I've had a almost a couple of weeks of, of uh, illness uh, not not the virus or, or anything uh, thank God for that but just uh, my usual stomach thing I have a bad stomach I, I make jokes about when I was young so in in the country out where I lived that's the uh, I gained a reputation very early as an early teenager as being able to drink more corn whiskey than anybody in the area. Woohoo! And believe me, when you're young and somebody give you a reputation like that, you live up to it. And I did. Don't know that I live up to it. And since, since my late 20s, I've been paying for it with these stomach problems that keep popping up from time to time. But anyway, this is Alligator in Alignment. I, I'm uh, happy to be back here with you. Uh, this is right before the voting, and I'm, and I'm stressing this. Uh, if you haven't voted already, I want you to find people who don't vote. Get them to register. Get them to register. This is, this is very important. This thing is not going as well as we hoped so far. Um, we need to get more people out there. So a bunch of you who have never voted in your life, you need to get out and vote. There are a bunch of you who are procrastinating, please. We need to get your vote out. Come on, you know, you know the situation here in the country now. We got people running for office who are uh, conspiracy theorists and big lie people. And if they get in office, uh, that's like uh, turning the uh, asylum over to the lunatics. Or that's like giving the, putting the fox over the uh over the hen house okay um but anyway i we we all need to go out and vote we really need to vote i can't say that enough vote 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 you if you haven't registered if you know someone who hasn't registered please go to them and talk to them you know uh, do whatever you have to talk to them and try to convince them that every single vote counts. We are, these are uh, very terrible times for our country. I don't know, I, I know most of Americans are not really paying attention to that and I can understand that. There's, you know, it's, it's easier just to blaz out and go about your daily life and, uh, but anyway, listen, I'm gonna, uh, All of this voter suppression stuff that's going on. I see here in Arizona they have uh, men outside of the voting areas with uh, camouflage uniforms on uh, and AR-15, you know, guns and, and uh, uh, bullet, bulletproof vests walking around outside of the voting offices. It's just a form of intimidation. What is going on in America that we got people showing up, up at the voting places with guns walking around trying to intimidate the crowd, ho hoping they can scare people off from voting? Um, and, you know, a Arizona's got some weird stuff going on anyway. I was listening. A friend of mine sent me something from the Tom Hartman program, I think it's, the program is. Um, 
on the books in Arizona. This is laws that are on the books. These are real laws that I think somebody should bring it to their attention and have them remove these things. I mean, they're, they're, they shouldn't be on the books as laws. No black, mulatto, Indian, Mongolian, or Asiatic person can testify against any white person in court. What? All marriage between a black person and a white person shall be absolutely void. This, this is on the books. And here's one of the crazy ones. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of silly little things that end up on the books, like you can't spit on the sidewalk or something like, like that. But these are kind of outrageous. The age of consent for sexual, uh, the age of sexual consent should be 10 years old. Uh, anyway, that's, there's a bunch of them. So uh, Arizona, take a look at some of these laws and, and get them off of their books. What are their laws doing laws here that no black mulatto Indian or Mongolian or Asiatic person can testify against a white person in court? Get rid of that. that. That is absolutely ridiculous. But meanwhile, I want you guys to vote. Vote, vote, vote. Please go and get people, get them out. Uh, here in California, we have the mail-in vote, and that makes it really easy. And uh, be, be careful that you vote for the right party. I'm not going to tell people what party to vote for. But, it, but if you want to retain our democracy, if you want equal justice for all human beings, then you should know which party to vote for. Okay? Now, I got this song called Corina Corina. A lot of times... Uh, Getting to the to the origin of some of this American music is kind of takes a little bit of digging, but Corina Corina, according to Wikipedia, whatever the hell they call that stuff, um, was first recorded in the 1930s. Uh, I should have the gentleman's name here, but I don't. But I am sure that that song goes back further than that because it was originally called Alberta Alberta. And I think that was uh, first recorded by some artists back in the 20s or so. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a version uh, the version that w people are more popular with now. Um, a lot of these old songs. I give you an example. There's a song called uh, some old gospel song. I the next time I do a, a something about Lead Belly, I'll I'll mention this also. But uh, some gentleman had the song copyrighted in 1927. He said he wrote it while he was in the Birmingham jail because the song has something about the Bur one of the lyrics is the Birmingham jail. And he tells this story about he was in the jail and why he wrote it and all that stuff in 1927. But I have dug up a lead belly. It is well documented that the great blues man folk music man country man the the lead belly played that song for the governor of texas in 1924 at the sugarland penitentiary in houston texas he played that exact song so it is obviously a lead belly song that uh, that someone decided uh in 1927 to come up with this elaborate story about they how they wrote the song in jail in 1927 in uh, in Birmingham. Well, if that were true, Lead Belly certainly certainly couldn't have have uh, sang the song for the governor of Texas a few years before. That type of stuff goes on. Let let's give a little uh, to to a song called Corina, which was originally Alberta, Alberta. Corina was a popular name back in the 50s. Uh, when I was a young young man in elementary school, I remember I had two girls that I just flipped over. One was named Carolyn something, and the other one was named Corina. But however, my good friend 
ended up being Corina's boyfriend. And I remember I was always so in love with Corina, but I couldn't, uh, one, of, one of those type things. But it was originally Alberta, Alberta, because back in the 20s, Alberta was a very popular name for girls. Um, we're going to give this a try. Corina, 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 where you been so long? Corina, Corina, talk to me now. Corina, 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 Corina. I love Corina. Tell the world I do. Hey, I love Corina. Tell the world I do. Corina, Corina. Baby, I sure love you. Corina, Corina. Where you been so long? Tell me now, Corina, Corina. Where you been so long? Ain't had no loving since Corina been gone. One more time. Corina, Corina. Corina, Corina. <laughs> Corina, Corina, where you been so long? Let me tell you now, Corina, Corina, where you been so long? Ain't had no loving since Corina been gone. Corina, 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 talk to me now. Corina, where you been so long? One more time. Corina, Corina. Corina, Corina. Corina, where you been so long? I love Corina. Tell the world I do. Hey, I love Corina. Tell the world I do. Corina, Corina, I sure love you. Corina, where you been so long? You know, one of these days I'm gonna do a whole show on uh, stuff like that. Certain songs that are. Uh, it's kind of hard to trace exactly where they came from and a lot of times the information that are given over the Wikipedia it's not quite right sometimes you, you, uh, and it's not their fault because 
I, the next time I do a thing on Lead Belly, I love Lead Belly, as you know, I'm going to do another uh, feature on him. And I will dig into that particular song, give you the name of it, the gentleman who took credit for it. A lot of times these songs, uh, people, back in the old days, people would hear songs. And they would, if they were educated, they would look it up on the register and see where they had someone taken credit for them. And if someone hasn't, then they go, oh, well, I can do it. And, they, and once they copyright the song or whatever the procedure was, then they become the author of the, of the song. And it's not always true. Okay. That song was obviously wrote by Lead Belly because he played it for the governor of, of Sugar Land Penitentiary in Houston, Texas in 1924. One year before he played Good Night Irene for the same governor at one of the governor's parties. So it, it, it's a Lead Belly song. Um, one of the things that I want to... Me and uh, Cowboy Donnie and my son have been talking about bringing the, the uh, theme of this program that I'm doing, or that we're doing, to America, it doesn't have to be like this. Um, we need to come together as, I, I was talking with a, a friend of mine uh, the other day who has had a, a habit of uh, talking at me and not with me. We need to get back to talking with each other. Everybody's talking at each other now. And of course, this whole fake news thing, I think I, I saw Trump on television the other day bragging about that. Yeah, I, I started the fake news thing and I started it. Yeah, you started a lot of that stuff. Um, has just gotten, gotten, gotten too much. It's like, like I, I explained to a friend of mine, you know, fake news is becoming a buzzword for anything you don't want to discuss in an intelligent way anything that you don't want to have a back and forth discussion about or anything you just want to dismiss and and life is not like that okay life is is not like that some someone said to me once said how can you say that uh Donald Trump lies. I mean, I'm, I'm not riding, riding Trump, but I'm using him as a, as an example of, of how far things have got. And my retort to that is, he says, it's fake news. It's fake news. How do you know it is true? And, and, and my retort to that is because I, I watched him on television open his mouth and say these exact things that I just told you he said. So how can you say it's fake news? Um, but people who have fallen that far off on that end, they're going to say, you know, they'll eventually say, uh, well, that wasn't him. That was artificial intelligence. You know, believe me, they haven't gotten there yet, but they will. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to, to stop this madness. I, w I love it when, when someone has a different opinion than, than me and we sit down and we talk about it intelligently and i've got so many i'm so lucky i got so many friends i can do that with but a lot of my older friends uh, uh friends that have been mine for years and years all of a sudden I, I, they it's taken about six years and they've slowly gone in this direction and now they're so far in it now that i can't have a, an intelligent conversation with them because they won't they won't if if, if uh if something needs to be discussed is fake news or blah, blah blah so anyway i am very sad actually to tell you the truth because as someone who i consider myself one of the ultimate patriots and i've proven it more than once in my life um i i i am just absolutely sad that my fellow Americans uh, get into the point where no one is talking with each other anymore. Everybody's talking at each other. We need to, to go back to sit down and have a, an intelligent conversation. And if you tell your side of the thing, don't jump up and get all upset and, and cut across the person when they're trying to explain their side. Be, be civilized. Just sit down and keep your big mouth shut and let the other person uh, uh, speak. 
that that's not being done anymore um anyway let's get back to this thing i'm gonna i'm gonna end this this is just something that i'm doing in in between things i've just started to feel better tonight i'm gonna be at bonton elroy's lighthouse smokehouse in monterey we're having a halloween party i've been uh laying around getting myself well all week to go and do this 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 saturday night which is what is the date i don't know but anyway uh this saturday night uh right now i'm, I'm gonna do another song i'm really in, into this music stuff right now uh, people have asked me huh oh i started to say hundreds but literally probably since the 60s the mid 60s people have asked me thousands of times alligator sing some beatles to tell you the truth when i first heard the beatles in the 60s and it took me many many years i was just never into the beatles you know you got to realize what guys like me were doing in the 60s the type of music we were doing and here these guys come from over there and they come up i want to hold your hand i want to hold your children's music you know to, to, to me it was that, that's like kid children's music um when i say that's something i hope you under you know children's music i, I was doing children's shows that I, I i played that type of music for but as a as after they broke up i started to paying a little attention to them here and there and and you know and they have some good music okay but i've just never really been a Beatles fan i did learn to appreciate paul mccartney because after they broke up now this is just my opinion and we know how opinions are after they broke up i said to myself i listened to him and i said okay i can see who the creative uh spark was in that group uh but anyway so i decided just recently that i'm gonna do the Beatles and and I I'm gonna do this song tonight where I'm going but you are the first this is the first time I'm gonna do it so we're gonna give it a little try here <laughs> let's go find myself in times of trouble mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom All you gotta do is Let it be And in my hour of darkness She is standing Right in front of me Speaking words of wisdom All you gotta do, all you gotta do Is let it be, yeah Speaking words, words, words of wisdom All you gotta do is Let it be Oh yeah You gotta let it be let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer. All you gotta do is let it be. Hey, hey, hey. let it be, let it be, let it be, Lord, let it be. There will be an answer. All you gotta do is let it be, yeah. I said one more time, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. All you gotta do is let it be. I said whisper, whisper, whisper words of wisdom All you gotta do 
All you gotta do is let it be Let it be You got to Let it be When the broken hearted people Living in this world We'll all agree There will be an answer All you gotta do is Hey, let it be And though they may be parted There is still, still a chance That they will see, yeah that there will, there will surely be an answer. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is let it be. I said there will be an answer, yeah. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is let it be. Oh, uh, yeah. Gotta let it be. One more time. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. All you gotta do is let it be. And when my night is clouded, there's a light that will shine on me. Until tomorrow All you gotta do is Let it be And I wake up, I wake up, I wake up To the sound of music Mother Mary comes to me Whisper Words of wisdom All you gotta do Is let it be you got to let it be, let it be, yeah, 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 let it be, whisper words of wisdom, you got to let it be, let it be, let it be, whisper words of wisdom, you got to let it be. You gotta let it be The Beatles alligator style Now I'm gonna Take off here now But I really Want to uh, Stress That we need To come back to actually having discussions and we need to get back to one thing we are all Americans we shouldn't be at each other's throats there's enough out there in the world at America's throats this we got to stop destroying ourselves from the inside let's just start having conversations again um, now that we're going to have, that it looks like we're going to have certain people who aren't very, uh, are not following the truth, are following conspiracy theories and all, in charge of the voting, some of the voting uh, things, and in charge of some things that they really shouldn't be in charge of. It's like I say, it's given, uh, having a fox guard in the hen house or the inmates running the asylum. But on the other hand, it's all in the hands of God. What I'm going to say is call me a fool, but I think we can come together as Americans yet. Vote. Please, 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 it's not too late. We've got about a week maybe or something like that now 
talk to people who have never voted in their life, try to get them to vote, try to get them to vote. Just explain to them that every vote counts. Um, and meanwhile, until then, this is Alligator. Happy trails. Alligator in alignment. I'll be back really soon with a follow-up.